The Historian's History of the World, subtitled A Comprehensive Narrative of the Rise and Development of Nations as recorded by over 2,000 of the great writers of all ages, is a 25-volume encyclopedia of world history originally published in English near the beginning of the 20th century. It was compiled by Henry Smith Williams, a medical doctor and author of many books on medicine, science, and history, as well as other authorities on history, and published in New York in 1902 by Encyclopædia Britannica and the Outlook Company. It was also published in London printed by Morrison & Gibb Ltd., of Edinburgh. A second edition was published in 1907 in London by The Times. Two further volumes were subsequently released in the fifth edition of 1926, titled These Eventful Years and Dealing with the First World War, published by Encyclopædia Britannica. Others involved were historian Walter Linwood Fleming, and Rupert Hughes as editor. Digital reproductions of the volumes are available via the Google Books Project links below. Most have been converted to the DJVU file format and made available on archive.org. Topic. List of volumes Topic. Volume 1 – Prolegomena, Egypt, Mesopotamia The prolegomena discuss various topics relating to the practice of historical study. Topic Volume 2, Israel, India, Persia, Phoenicia, Minor Nations of Western Asia Part 4, The History of Israel is based chiefly upon the following authorities, as stated in the front matter, Ernest Babylon, The Holy Bible, T.K. Chain, Maximilian Wolfgang Duncker, G.H.A. Ewald, Edward Gibbon, F. Hitzig, J. Yarn, Josephus, Rudolf Kittel, Eugene Ledrin, Max Law, L. Menard, H. H. Milman, D. H. Muller, Salomon Monk, F. W. Newman, E. Renan, A. H. Sace, George Smith, Bernhardt Stade. Beginning with the biblical history of Abraham and the early Israelites, Moses, the Judges, Samuel, Saul, David, Nehemiah, it moves on to the Maccabean Revolt, the history of early Christianity, and ends with the fall of Jerusalem. Part 5, the history of Phoenicia is based chiefly upon the following authorities, A. H. L. Heron, John Kenrick, Otto Meltzer, T. Momsen, F. C. Movers, Richard Peachman. Starting with the origins of the people of Phoenicia, this section documents their rise to maritime supremacy under Hiram I and his successors, Phoenicia under the Persians and Greeks the history of Carthage and its decline with the Punic Wars. Part 6, The History of Western Asia is stated in the front matter as being based chiefly upon the following authorities, Ernest Babylon, Max Duncker, Paul Carolides, Edouard Meyer, Perrault and Chippies, Georges Radet, A. H. Sace, Albert Socine, Charles W. Super. Quickly detailing the story of the Hittites, it moves on to the Scythians, and Sumerians, the Lydians and a handful of other peoples of the ancient Near East. Part 7, The History of Ancient India gives in its front matter the following authorities from which it is chiefly derived, Arian, Gustave Le Bon, Eugene Bournouf, Mount Stuart Elphinstone, A. H. L. Heron, W. W. Hunter, Sir William Jones, Ferdinand Justee, Salomon Lefman, James Mill, Vetus, H. H. Wilson. In three chapters, a brief overview of the early Hindus, the Vedas, the Brahmins, up to a description of the rise of Buddhism. Part 8 – The History of Ancient Persia is based chiefly upon the following authorities, C. T. E. C. S. A. H. L. Heron, Herodotus, G. C. C. Maspero, Edouard Meyer, Theodore Nuldeek, H. C. Rawlinson, beginning with the Achaemenids, this part describes briefly the Medes, Elamites, leading up to the civilization of Persia under Cyrus and Darius I, Xerxes I and Artaxerxes III along with the fall of the empire. Topic. Volume 3, Greece to the Peloponnesian War Topic. Volume 4, Greece to the Roman Conquest Topic. Volume 5, The Roman Republic 
The cover matter states Part 10, the history of Rome from the earliest times to 476 AD is based chiefly on the works of the following authorities, Ammianus, Appian, Thomas Arnold, Bartholomew Ober, the Augustan history, Julius Caesar, Henry Fiennes Clinton, Cicero, Dion Cassius, Dionysius of Halicarnassus, Evtropius historian, Florus, Victor Gardhausen, Edward Gibbon, Otto Gilbert, Adolf Harnack, G.F. Hertzberg, Herodian, Otto Hirschfeld, Thomas Hodgkin, Karl Hoke, Wilhelm Ihne, Jordanus, Josephus, George Cornwall Lewis, H. G. Little, Livy, Joachim Marquardt, Charles Merivale, Edouard Meyer, Theodore Momsen, Monumentum Ansirinorm, Cornelius Nepus, B. G. Niebuhr, Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger, Plutarch, Polybius, L. von Rank, Sallust, Wilhelm Soltau, Strabo, Suetonius, Tacitus, Tillemont, Velius, Georg Weber, Zosimus, many other authors are cited in addition to these, though their influence is felt to a lesser extent throughout the work. Beginning with the early legends of the founding of Rome and of the Roman Kingdom, it quickly proceeds to the Roman Republic, its development and rise to supremacy via its wars Punic Wars, Samnite Wars, Macedonian Wars, the Roman conquest of Italy and moves on to the final days of the Republic, the reforms of Tiberius and Gaius Gracchus, as well as those of Gaius Marius and his civil wars with Sulla following the Jugurthine War in Africa on to the rise of Pompey and his war against Julius Caesar, the Catiline Conspiracy, and ultimately the crisis of the Roman Republic and its fall. Volume 6 – The Early Roman Empire Continuing Part 10 directly from the preceding volume, this volume begins with Augustus and goes up to the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476. It discusses the rise of Christianity, the many emperors who held power in Rome during the founding and the fall of the Roman Empire, the division of the Roman Empire and the many barbarian invasions Huns, Goths, Vandals leading up to Rome's fall. <laughs> Volume 7 – The Later Roman Empire Part 11, the history of the later Roman Empire states that, along with over 75 additional authors, the work is based chiefly upon the following authorities, Agathius, Appian, Augustan History, J. B. Berry, Henry Fiennes Clinton, George Kedrenos, Anna Comnena, Cassius Dio, Dukas historian, Einhard, F. Tropius historian, George Finlay, Heinrich Gelser, Edward Gibbon, Wilhelm von Giesbrecht, Ferdinand Gregorovius, Gustav Hertzberg, Thomas Hodgkin historian, Jordanus, John Malalas, Procopius, Leopold von Rank, Strabo, Tacitus, Marcus Velius Paterculus, Georg Weber, Joannes Zonaras, and Zosimus. Beginning with the reign of Arcadius in 395, Book I, the later Roman Empire in the East deals with the Eastern Roman Empire through to the fall of Constantinople in 1453, detailing as well the siege of Constantinople 1204 by the members of the Fourth Crusade which led to the short-lived Latin Empire along with the various incidents in the history of Constantinople with several chapters dedicated to Justinian I. Book II the later Roman Empire in the West begins with Odoacer and the Visigoth invasion of Italy followed by the Lombard invasion of Italy, the Carolingian dynasty and Charlemagne and the birth of the Holy Roman Empire up to the investiture controversy and Henry V, Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> Volume 8, Parthians, Sassanids, and Arabs, the Crusades and the Papacy Part 12, The History of the Parthians, Sassanids, and Arabs is based upon the following authorities, Abd al-Latif al-Baghdadi, Bar Hebraeus Abul Faraj, Abul Fida, Maximilian Wolfgang Duncker, Ignac Goldzaha, Alfred von Guchmed, William Muir, Theodore Nuldique, Louis-Pierre Eugene Setiot, Louis Viado, Julius Wellhausen, Gustav Weil.
This section begins with the Parthian Empire, the conquests of Mithridates I of Parthia, and the Mithridatic Wars with Mithridates VI of Pontus. The next chapter deals with the Sasanian Empire and the continuation of the Roman Persian Wars, the Hephthalite Persian Wars. The history of pre Islamic Arabia is discussed, followed by an account of Muhammad, the spread of Islam, the Umayyad Caliphate, the Abbasid Caliphate, and the medieval history of Islam in Spain. Finally, this section concludes with an account of Islamic jurisprudence. Part 13, the history of the Crusades and of the papacy is based upon the following authorities, Abul Fida, Chasserl, Dalencourt, Baha ad-Din ibn Shaddad, James Bryce, William Denton, John William Draper, Einhard, Edward Gibbon, Johann Karl Ludwig Gieseler, Henry Hallam, Henry Charles Lee, Joseph Francois Michaud, Charles Mills historian, Henry Hart Millman, Johann Lorenz von Mosheim, Leopold von Rank, Oswald Joseph Reichel one, and Geoffrey of Vilhardouin. This section is divided into two books, the first deals with the Crusades, while the second deals with the history of the papacy. Volume 9, Italy The front matter states that this volume is chiefly based upon the following authors, Francesco Bertolini, J. Burkhart, Pierre-Antoine Daru, S. Astley Dunham, Francesco Guicciardini, W. C. Hazlett, Heinrich Leo, Machiavelli, F. A. Minier, H. E. Napier, Lorenzo Pignotti, A. von Rumont, William Roscoe, J. C. L. S. Sismungdi, J. A. Simmons. Various other authors are given, from the 16th century Italian historian Amorato and the 12th century Byzantine princess Anna Comnena to the renowned French Enlightenment writer Voltaire and over 70 others. <laughs> Volume 10, Spain and Portugal Part 15, The History of Spain and Portugal is based chiefly upon the following authorities. Lopez de Ayala, Bakhuizen van den Brink, H. Baumgarten, F. de Fonseca Benavides, G. Bergenroth, Andres Bernaldez, Ulic R. Burke, E. Castilla, Nunez de Castro, Pinero Chagas, J. A. Cond, W. Cox, R. Dozy, Samuel Astley Dunham, Flore y La Fuente, V. de La Fuente, L. P. Gatchard, Domiao de Goe, A. Herculano, A. de Herrera, N. Rossiu Street Hilaire, M. A. S. Hume, H. C. Lee, Diogo de Lemos, Juan de Lorente, R. H. Major, Juan de Mariana, W. F. P. Napier, Joao P. Oliveira Martins, J. Ortiz Y. Sands, W. H. Prescott, P. de Sandoval, M. Shuriano, A. de Vertet, Geronimo Zarita. Book 1 begins briefly with Spain's earliest known history under the Celts, the Phoenicians, and the ancient Greeks through to the Roman conquest of Hispania, and the Gothic invasion, it quickly moves on to the Muslim conquest of Spain to the overthrow of the Muslims, it discusses the Kingdom of Aragon and of Castile before going in some greater detail regarding the reigns of Ferdinand II of Aragon and Isabella I of Castile, and of the monarchs of Habsburg Spain, this is followed by the House of Bourbon, Spain during the French Revolution, and the the Peninsular War and ends in 1902 with the regency of Maria Cristina of Austria. Book 2 details the history of Portugal beginning with Afonso I of Portugal, the first king of Portugal, along with other kings including Afonso II of Portugal, Denis, and John I of Portugal before moving on to the role played by Portugal in the Age of Discovery, the Portuguese in India with the Portuguese conquest of Goa, and discusses the decline of Portugal as a major European power, the 1755 Lisbon earthquake, Brazil, Napoleon's invasion of Portugal, and finishes off with the reign of Carl Carlos I of Portugal. Finally, a 36-page appendix is given on the Inquisition, the Cathari, the Waldensians and the Albigensian Crusade, the Jews in Spain, the Auto da Fe and Tomás de Torquemada, the Grand Inquisitor of Spain. Topic: <laughs> Volume 11, France, 843-1715. Part 16, the history of France is based chiefly upon the following authorities A. Allison, Alexis Bellic, L. P. E. Bignon, Louis Blanc, Jules Calais, J. B. R. Capefig, Thomas Carlyle, François René de Chateaubriand, Adolphe Cheroul, John Wilson Croker, E. E. 
Crow, C. d'Est de la Chavanne, Brugier de Barante, A. Granier de Cassagnac, Philip de Commons, Durian de la Gravière, Alexis de Tocqueville, Jehan de Voren, Victor Durai, Gabriel Henry Gaillard, Francois Guizot, C. P. M. Haas, Ernest Hamel, Ludwig Hauser, Karl Hillebrand, G. W. Kitchen, Lacatel, A. Lamartine, Jules Michelet, F. A. Minier, Enguerrand de Monstrelet, C. Pelletan, Victor Pierre, Jules Quicherat, Alfred Nicolas Rambeau, J. E. Robinet, Duc de Saint Simon, J. R. Seeley, C. Senobos, J. C. S. de Sismungdi, Albert Sorrell, H. M. Stevens, Heinrich von Sibyl, H. Tyn, M. Turno, A. Tiers, Voltaire. Additional citations are given from over 70 additional authorities, including the likes of Walter Scott, Symphorian Champier, Guillaume de Nangis, Hippolyta Castile and Edmund Henry Adolf Scherer. This volume begins with the later Carolingians and documents the foundation of the House of Capet, the rise of the House of Valois, the Hundred Years' War, Cardinals Mazarin and Richelieu, and discusses the House of Bourbon to the death of Louis XIV of France in 1715. Topic. Volume 12, France, 1715–1815 Beginning with the early years of Louis XV of France, it moves on to Madame de Pompadour, Voltaire, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette leading up to the French Revolution under Honoré Gabriel Riquetti, Comte de Mirabeau, the execution of Louis XVI and the Girondin, the Reign of Terror, the rise of Napoleon and his wars, the treaties of Tilsit in 1807 down to the end of Napoleon with the Battle of Waterloo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Paris, 1815 to 1904, Netherlands. Topic. Volume 14, The Netherlands concluded, the Germanic Empires Continuing with the Lowland nations from the previous volume, the first section of Volume 14 discusses Netherlands from 1722, William IV, Prince of Orange, the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapel, the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War and the impact of the French Revolution on the Netherlands, followed by its absorption into the French Empire, the ministry of Johann Rudolf Thorbecker is discussed, and the history of the Netherlands concludes with Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. The history of Belgium is also touched upon in two chapters, its role during the War of the Austrian Succession, the Brabant Revolution and the Belgian Revolution, and ending with the reigns of Leopold I of Belgium and Leopold II of Belgium. Part 18, the history of the Germanic empires states that the work was based chiefly upon the following authorities, Aeneas Silvius, Alfred von Arneth, A. Beer, Karl Biedermann, Hans Blum, Thomas Carlyle, Chronicles of Colmar, Robert Buckley Cummin, William Cox, Mandel Creighton, Hans Delbruck, Eduard Duller, Karl Fischer, H. T. Flath, Frederick II, Bruno Gebhardt, Johann Karl Ludwig Gisela, Anton Gindley, Karl Rudolf Hagenbach, James Wycliffe Hedlam, Otto Camel, Friedrich Kohlrausch, Reinhold Kosser, Franz Kroners, Karl Lamprecht, Janos Majlath, H. Manali, Wolfgang Menzel, D. Muller, Wilhelm Onken, William Pearson, J. D. E. Proust, Hans Prutz, Leopold von Rank, Heinrich von Sibyl, Heinrich von Treitschke, Georg Weitz, Adam Wolff. Book 1, The Holy Roman Empire begins with the Hohenstaufens, detailing the emperors Lothair II, Conrad III and his crusade, Frederick Barbarossa and his conflicts with the Pope, the Peace of Constance, and his crusade. Moving on to the decline of this royal family, the book describes the reign of Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor who peacefully acquired Jerusalem during the Sixth Crusade. Moving on to the House of Habsburg, it discusses Rudolf I of Germany who came to power in 1273, beginning that dynasty's power throughout Europe for centuries, Charles IV, Sigismund, and the rise of the Hanseatic League, the Swabian League, and the Hussites. 
moving on to Frederick III, Maximilian I and the Diet of Worms, and to Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation, the Schmalkaldic War, the Protestant Union, the Thirty Years' War, the Grand Alliance, the Treaty of Ryswick, the Treaty of Passarowitz, and the Treaty of Versailles. A brief treatment of the Seven Years' War is given, the reign of Maria Theresa, and the decline of the Holy Roman Empire, the Treaty of Reichenbach, Leopold II, the Congress of Rastatt, to the abdication of Francis II, Holy Roman Emperor. Book II, The Empire of Austria-Hungary picked up in the year 1806 with the Napoleonic Wars, Clemens von Metternich, the Treaty of Paris, the suppression of the Prague Revolution in 1848, the Hungarian Revolution of 1848 and Hungary's Declaration of Independence in 1849, and ends with the Battle of Novara. Volume 15, Germanic Empires concluded. Topic: Austria-Hungary concluded. Topic: The history of modern Germany. Topic: Volume 16, Scandinavia, Switzerland to 1715 Part 19, The History of Scandinavia states that it is based chiefly upon the following authorities, Adam of Bremen, A. Arnfeldt, C. F. Allen, Georg Binder, Karl Blasendorf, Gustav Peter Blom, H. S. Breakstead in Encyclopædia Britannica, Jean-Pierre Guillaume Cateau Calaville, Olaf Celsius (1716–1794), Andrew Crichton, Olaf von Dalen, O. H. Dumrath, Samuel Astley Dunham, Anders Freekel, C. C. A. Gosch in Encyclopædia Britannica, Eric Gustav Geyer, Georg Friedrich von Jensen Tusch, Samuel Lang, Sven Lagerbrunn, K. Lundblad, Paul Henry Mallet, O. Montelius, Friedrich Munter, W. Onken, K. P. P. Paludin Muller, Alaus Petri, Eric Pontopadin, Kurt von Schloser, Paul Christian Sinding, Snorri Sturluson, H. von Treitschka, Henry Wheaton. Part 20, The History of Switzerland is derived chiefly from the following authorities, W. A. B. Coolidge, A. Dagay, Karl Dandleicher, Johannes Dierauer, Johann Karl Ludwig Gieseler, Magano, G. O. Montelius, Johannes von Müller, Wilhelm Oexley, R. von Radeg, Elise Recluse, Johannes Strickler, A. Vusser, Johannes Vitodurinus, Louis Vullimin, J. Wilson. Volume 17, Switzerland concluded, Russia and Poland <laughs> Volume 18, England to 1485 <laughs> <laughs> Volume 19 England, 1485 to 1642 Topic Volume Twenty England sixteen forty two to seventeen ninety one Topic Volume Twenty One Scotland Ireland England since seventeen ninety two Topic Volume 22, The British Colonies, The United States Early Colonial Period <laughs> Volume 22 Supplement, Australia and New Zealand Published 1908, and containing two additional chapters on Australia and four on New Zealand. Topic Volume Twenty Three The United States Concluded Spanish America Topic Volume Twenty Four Poland The Balkans Turkey Minor Eastern States China Japan
Topic Volume Twenty Five Index. Equals 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 Volume Twenty Six These Eventful Years Part One. Equals 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 Volume Twenty Seven These Eventful Years Part Two. Equals equals equals. Topic Reception. The Spectator, writing on the 25th of January 1908 and prior to the release of the second half of the series, notes a handful of shortcomings, including a fleeting portrayal of Homer and a questioning of the historicity of Christ, but states that the general reader will find here a great treasury of knowledge, and that they form an extremely interesting shelfful. <laughs>